Welcome everyone to the Build Assets Online show. Today I am here with my brother Mike. As usual, I'm Joe, and we're going to be talking about should you make a general store or a niche down store for when you're doing high ticket dropshipping. Now, this is kind of a topic that the low ticket dropshipping uh, gurus like to talk about <laughs> whether you should make a niche store or a general store. Um, we don't endorse low ticket dropshipping at all here on Build Assets Online, um, but this is actually a very relevant topic for high ticket dropshipping as well. And the truth is, is that we've done a lot of both. And so we're gonna give you the pros and cons of, of each one. So our first store, Mike, was a very niche down store. And um, we ended up selling that store for kind of the lowest store sale we've ever, we've ever had. It was kind of like 80,000 or something. And um, it's because um, that store was kind of limited in, in scope. Now, our second store, um, going off of what we did from the first store, was way more broad. We had kind of a niche down domain name, but we listed a wide variety of products, and that was the uh, highest store sale we've ever had. We sold that store for around 133000 or something like and that. And to clarify, we could have sold that store for a lot more. We chose to sell it early uh, just for the sake of just getting through the process of actually selling a store. Because at the time, it started earning so much that, like, we weren't able to keep up with the customer service and just the level of stuff that was going on. Um, yeah. If we were at the point we're at now and we had a store like that, it would have sold for, like, triple because we would have just been able to hire and stick with it. And um, so it's not – I don't, I don't really think it's a bad thing that we sold it kind of ahead of its prime earnings-wise because we needed to kind of move through that step and it really advanced our business um, a lot. But 133, it was, it, if we had just waited another six months or eight months, it would have been worth a lot more. Yeah. C continue. <laughs> no, no, that's all right. And so our third store that we just sold, actually, we just sold it for 105, was- 108. You know, 108, <laughs> darn it. Uh, started as a niche down store and became more of a general store as we added suppliers and products that really had nothing to do with the domain name. So in terms of stuff we've done that is that we've sold in, in uh, we've always kind of veered off of the niche the niche down store um, because it just makes it easier for acquiring new suppliers and getting into new uh, into new categories. Mm. But yeah, if Go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. No, continue. no. I, don't. I thought I thought you were leaving it off, but I was gonna say if you don't know what you're doing, then you need to make a more general store. You need to be in a position that if whatever you think is gonna work fails, then you can continue going. And we made that mistake with our first store. Thankfully, we were able to really learn along the way because of all the other general stores that we made, and apply that knowledge to the niche down store and have it be at like. A decently sellable point um, and we also kind of got lucky with the niche itself and it we were able to get like big sales and um, do a lot of b2b stuff that if we had just done like any other regular home niche or something it would have that, that store would have not sold for for that much yeah so I think that what it comes down to is if you're a beginner Doing a general store makes it way, way easier to be versatile, pivot, test out different product categories, and that's what you really need to do. But for the purpose of what we're doing now, I think we're starting to prefer the niche down store, or at least you know the store that we plan on selling for a couple million. That is more of a niche down store, and it's because you know we're really taking the suppliers that we have and you know, trying to obtain as much market share as possible for those suppliers. And I think that's way easier to do with a niche down store. Would you agree? I would agree. And so I think it's almost like a paradox because when you make a general store, it allows you to sort of throw more things out there and see what's gonna work, what's not gonna work. And when you're starting out, that's the most important thing. You're, you don't have the ads knowledge to make it work. You don't have the general dropshipping knowledge to look at a situation 
and say, okay, I know what I need to do to fix this. You don't have that. So the easiest thing that you can do is go out and get a new supplier. And maybe that new supplier that you get is better. And it, you know, for whatever reason, there's multiple reasons, it starts bringing in sales. And once you actually start making money and seeing how you tweak things affects the money that you make, that's when you begin to learn. And then so once you once you learn more, you can really tailor your efforts down. And to give an example, for a general store, you're going to wind up having a bunch of different suppliers that you need to run ads for. And they may not all be in the same product category. They may be different product types. And it can become hard to manage. Whereas on a niche down store, it's a lot easier to focus in and get a lot of the search impression share for the entire industry if all your products are focused around one central topic, around one central um, industry, you can really just take over that industry. But it's not worth doing that if you don't know what industries are worth taking over. Yeah, that's right. So when a visitor lands <clears throat> on a niche down store, you can like naturally give them the experience out the gate that's going to make them convert. So you know you have your email opt-in. Your whole email newsletter, your whole everything in your email can be catered around education for the products that you're selling. You can't really do that with a general store. I mean, you mm. probably can, but it's going to be a pain to set up because you're going to have to have multiple different opt-ins, and it's just going it, to it's going to be a disaster. I don't agree that that is a, like I don't think that that matters a whole lot in the beginning. The fact that like. Oh, a customer, I'm not going to be able to give them like this detailed level of, you know, an email sequence because I don't know what they want. And we struggled with this in the beginning. And I, in my opinion, what came out of that was it really doesn't matter. Just give them a, like a, a discount, whatever. They know they know what they want. So if you can just give them some urgency to buy whatever it is they want, they're going to do it. Um, right. So like I think the whole idea of the niche down store increasing conversions because you can optimize things at like a store level around the niche and make it seem like you're some sort of authority. Um, I think it's very, very overblown. So say you had a Persian rug store and everything you were selling on there was rug related, Persian rug related, whatever. That store is not going to get more sales just because it's completely rug related versus a site that was more catered to anything in the home and happen to sell rugs. It's not going to get more sales just off that that domain name and the site structure, in my opinion. What's going to be able to get you more sales with the niche down store is when you're able to actually focus in and get all of the rug suppliers, have your ads completely focused on rugs. And so now the, the traffic that you're driving, you know it's all rug people. And you, you just are able to like the like the quality of traffic traffic is going to be more focused on one particular topic, um, but you can still compensate for that. Like if someone had just a niche down store and they weren't as good with Google Ads, and I had a general store and I just happened to have these rugs on there, I can still beat them because I I know what it takes to optimize impression share. Even though I only have a few rug suppliers and it's not my my main shtick. Right. So Mike. To clarify what you're saying for the audience, I think a niche down store is appropriate when you have the skills and the know-how to really go mm -hmm. for that industry domination. Yes, um, you have to have the know-how first. And yeah. the way that you acquire the know-how is through just a general store and seeing what works. And let me clarify what you mean on, on, on a point there because I'm not sure I agree. Um, now you're talking strictly in terms of Google ads. You have two stores that sell Persian rugs. One is a more general store. One is a mm -hmm. niche down store. Now on the Google ads playing field, um, you were saying that they both have an equal chance to, to sell a rug. And, you know, I would agree in, in, for the most part, I would agree, but I don't think, and this is because of what you said, you know, when someone lands on the site. If the person who has done the, the rug store, if they've done it very well, I think they might have a slight edge over the general store just for the reason of their site is dedicated to that and they might, you know, that customer could click around. They're more likely to find 
different type of ru- types of rugs that um, that would appeal to them. You know, like no, a- I, I agree with that. What I was saying was that aspect of it is less important than actually being competent at Google Ads. Right. So right. I think if I'm if I'm better at Google Ads and I have a general store, I'm going to be more successful selling those rugs than someone who has a super niche down rug store and may not know what they're doing as much. Right. For that it's, yeah. It's not it's not gonna totally save them. No, no, no. Yes. Then on top then, of the fact that they may it may it may even also just be a bad product type. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, then we're in a com- in complete agreement uh, with you. Yeah, that so really mastering the Google Ads and mastering the traffic generation in general is going to be kind of like the 80/20 yeah. of what you have to do um, to win at high ticket dropshipping, but it's that it's that little edge you can get from the niche down store that can mm-hmm. give you that extra 10%, that extra 20% and um, you know, really have yeah. you take over an industry. So Yeah. You just have to decide. You have to know that you want that edge. Like yeah. if we had a general store and all of a sudden we're seeing that these rugs are taking off, we're getting huge orders, you know, bundles, all all this type of all this type of stuff, I would say, okay, maybe we should just make a rug store. And you know, if I see there's a lot of um a lot of suppliers we haven't even gotten into yet, yeah. then it it may make sense to just have this rug store, just get as many suppliers as possible, have a whole focused ad ad account for these rugs. Just start a whole um, blog site for it. In that case, that's when you say, after you found what works from the general store, you can find that and just make it as as dominating as possible and get every single percent of impression share that you can. And to segue that, as far as our strategy um, going forward for 2020 and beyond, we are going to be putting our focus – into these more niche down stores. Now we still do have <clears throat> more more general stores that we have partnerships on, but um, we just see in, in terms of our purposes is that we can maybe have bigger exits with the niche down stores. You know, have them be a little bit less complicated and um, and things like that. So that's what we're going to be focusing on. But we don't necessarily recommend that to you as the viewer or the listener, especially if you are new. And mm-hmm. what, like Mike said. What you can do is – so the most important part here is a supplier relationship. Once you develop that supplier relationship, um, you know it's not out of the question. And as a matter of fact, this is what we're doing. It's not out of the question to take that supplier from your general store and create a more niche down store um, focused around the, that supplier and that those product types. So, so Exactly. Uh, and so if you're not at this point yet in your journey, that's fine. Uh, but it is important to understand the distinctions that we're making and truly understand why we suggest that you make a general store first. Because when we talk about things, we, we've we done so many things at this point that we've had to just figure out what's the 80-20. What can we do to figure out, okay, if we just did this one task, this will have the biggest impact on the business. And we've done that with dropshipping so many times. And so we know that doing a general store when you start out is the quickest way to generate earnings but from there once you really want to take it to the next level you take the absolute best of what you've acquired and you just focus in on that yeah and that's a to wrap it up here i think that's a really really key takeaway for anything you're going to do in online business you have to just be really focused on identifying what is it you're going to do this month this week today that's going to have the biggest impact on your sales you know, you don't want to get bogged down in little details, little minutia. Just really try and focus in on the highest level thing that you could do that's going to generate you more more profit in the long run. That could be calling more suppliers. That could be, you know, tweaking your ads that day. Uh, just any of those things, you know, really identify what those are and just don't let yourself get sidetracked by – you know, doing stuff like I'm going to tweak this color here, tweak this color there, just stuff that you know, uh, just focus on the big impact things is what I'm trying to say. So that's about it for this episode, guys. Buildassetsonline.com slash playbook for our free course and uh, buildassetsonline.com slash asset where you can find our uh, flagship course on building your own high ticket dropshipping store. 
Take it easy.